Yo, what up, TTC, man? It's your boy, Joe Raw, a.k.a. King Jaffe Joe. A lot of you motherfuckers like, yo, <laughs> this dude can be doing any type of video right now. You got you to gotta play the Saints this week. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There are no Saints fans. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> we all know who got them at like that. But anyway... Look, I'm playing 2K, NBA 2K, right? So, at the same time, I'm watching Chirac. I'm watching Chirac. There's another TV. My big screen right there. Just got the motherfucker fixed. The me uh, not mechanic. What do we call the TV people? They just came and fixed my big screen. This right here is a 42, 42 inch over there, right? And that over there is a 65. Now it's hiding my fireplace. <laughs> that's that. That's how much I care about uh, TTC motherfuckers say that uh. Oh my God! Oh my God! Joe Rock, he was gone for two weeks <laughs> during the holiday season, right before Christmas. He was gone for two weeks. Therefore, he, 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 I don't have respect for him. It, fuck you. Anyway, I'm gonna get into that real soon, man. I'm gonna get into that real soon because a lot of people forget about what happened in 2012, 2011, 2012, one or two. You know, when a particular Falcon fan got missing because people are picking on me. <laughs> Boy, you need to stop that shit. But anyway, moving on. Look, moving past that, right? Because uh, while I'm watching Chirac and, you know, uh, playing 2K, I'm hollering at my partner because we always we we supposed to be going to the mountains for my birthday in Tennessee. Get these big ass log cabins, you know, the shit decked out. Get the mountain view with the pool table. Got this big ass inside the cabin, you know. You got a movie theater to where you sit back and watch it like a and like you feel like a, a baller, bitch. Like, you got a movie theater inside your crib. Like, we're going to... Anyway, I'm talking to him about that shit, and he supposed to come, come through with me for my birthday weekend and all that good shit. But uh, moving moving on, man. We had a discussion. Like, we always have a discussion. He's a Falcon fan from North Carolina, from Raleigh, North Carolina, to be exact. And uh, but he's a Falcon fan. But, you know, we always have our football talks about this. Best linebacker of all time. Falcon fan. Bet if you had to put together your, your offense, right? You got an offense. What year? What year had the best Falcon offensive line? Your best number one wide receiver for the Falcons. Number two, the best running back for the Falcons. Best quarterback at the time. Well, if you got to put together a team, and you got to beat my team, I'm going to put together a team, too. I go first. I'm going wide receiver. I'm going Julio. Okay. Are you going running back, Jamal Jamal Anderson? Okay. Well, I can't pick Jamal Anderson, so I'm going to go Ward Dunn. You know how that's how we do our thing. We always talk crazy shit. But this today it was NBA talk, right? And we got we 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 did our little team. You can't pick from this era to that era. Nobody in the NBA and nobody between uh, from the 80s on back and from the 2000s on up and all this other all crazy shit. And we had a discussion. Like, and this shit is serious to me, man, because you really think about it. It's really not that many that was, like, of all time. You look at all-time greatest point guards of all time. You look at John Stockton, Gary Payton. You know, uh, whatever, man. I mean, just <laughs> moving on, man. It's, it's plenty of great Isaiah Thomas. It's like gr plenty of great 
Point guards, Magic Johnson, you can go all time. Shooting guard, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant. Uh, shit, you can throw Dwayne Wade in there. It don't fucking matter. Center, Shaq, Kareem. That we can we can go about that all goddamn all night. Uh, small forwards, you can throw Pippen in there because a lot of people sleep on Pippen because of Jordan. Because, but without without Jordan, the one year I think you want to say. Pippen showed his monkey ass without Jordan. And Pippen was that nigga, man. But uh, LeBron, you can throw LeBron, one of the greatest small forwards of all time. Larry Bird. Uh, I think Dan Marley was a small forward. You throw him in there. Oh, yeah, and point guard, yeah, I could throw uh, Mark Price in there. But uh, whatever, man. Like, But you think about greatest power forwards of all time, right? And I threw mine out there ASAP, like no fucking problem, right? It's 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 like to me, greatest power forward of all time. It's like a no fucking brainer to me. I'm always going Tim Duncan. All right, that's me. That's me. This man want to throw Charles Barkley, Sean Kemp. Like, he went all around the board. <laughs> and every time I kill him with a fact, you know, because the whole time I'm talking with him on speakerphone and I'm doing Google, boom, 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 boom. But this, but this, but that, but that. He threw all kind of names with me, man. But then the big name he wanted to go with was Charles Barkley. Look, I got a question for the TTC, man. Who is the greatest power forward? I mean, true power forward. I'm not talking about somebody who plays center, move the power forward, or plays small forward, like Charles Barkley, <laughs> who moved to goddamn power forward from small forward to power forward. I'm not talking about talking about nobody like that. I'm talking about a power forward. Whatever time, whatever the time they play, power forward. Power four, who's the greatest power four of all time, is better than Tim Duncan. I dare you to find somebody. And and a lot of people are like, I'm a Kobe. I'm a Kobe hater. I hate Kobe. But they talk about, you know, he's the greatest shooting guard of our era. Not my motherfucking era. Because Jordan is still of this era. The motherfucker retired with 03, 04. Like, Jordan is Kobe era. So how Jordan can be the greatest of his era when... His air really, really is is, is Jordan air too. Like <laughs> so, but anyway, that's retarded. Uh, t the retarded debate. But uh, moving past that, like greatest power forward in my era, in my daddy era, in your era, and it's still playing today because Kobe is still playing today. We talking about the greatest of all time. We we had a subject about the greatest and all this other kind of crazy, crazy shit, man. But greatest power forward to ever play the game and still playing at a very high level. He played with Jordan, Barkley, goddamn Elijah Wan, David Robinson, and he's still balling. He's still the best power, probably one, probably top three power forwards in the NFL. I mean, NBA right now. Like, he's been doing for so long. He is the LL Cool J. If this was hip-hop, he would be LL Cool J of the NBA, man. Like, or Jay-Z, well, you can give Jay-Z, but my opinion, LL, the greatest of all time. I'm talking about Long Jeff. I'm not the biggest LL fan, but when you look at career-wise, LL been doing it psh, since 84. But anyway, moving on. Tim Duncan is that nigga. Why isn't... When motherfuckers put teams together, they've never really put Tim Duncan in the top. Tim Duncan is one of the greatest players to ever grace this planet. If not, man, I'm, I'm, I'm logging off right now. The greatest power forward to ever play the game. That's number one. Okay, this one what you do. In the comment section, put the greatest power forward to ever play the game. Um... The greatest power forward in the NBA right now. And, uh, I mean, I basically, that's basically about it, man. 
had this crazy ass discussion about Tim fucking Duncan when a nigga is the motherfucking goat. Was he from Wake Forest? Psh, remember that man got drafted. The Spurs kept going to the playoffs. They went to the playoff down there every other year or some shit like that. It wasn't until Tim Duncan there out there to them niggas finally won. Like his rookie year, his second year, some shit like that. Tim Duncan is a motherfucking beast. And you got, I don't give a fuck. Once this man retired, a lot of people like putting Kobe out there. I'm a different type of NBA fan. I like my NBA different from other people. And once it's all said and done, once he retired, the same type of respect y'all giving Kobe right now, you got to give Tim Duncan that respect, man, because he's the man. I'm out.